Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to add and subtract mixed numbers. And we have one example each that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. So let's jump into number one, where we have five and two sevenths plus three and a half. Now, before I start, I wanna mention that if you're able to add and subtract fractions with unlike denominators, you'll be able to do these types of problems. There's just a couple of extra steps, but you'll be good to go. So let's start with number one. And the first thing I like to do is line these up vertically, so up and down. So five and two sevenths plus three and a half. Now the first thing we wanna do, we need to see, do we have a common denominator between our fractions? So can we add our fractions um, right away? No, we don't have a common denominator. So we need to find one and rename. So we have a seven and a two. So the least common denominator for a seven and a two is going to be 14. So let's rename here. We'll put an equal sign and we have five and how many 14ths? and then three and how many 14ths? Well, we know seven times two gives us 14, so we need to do the same thing to the top. We're doing the same exact thing we do when we add fractions. We just have a whole number in front. So two times two, do the same exact thing to the top, two times two is four. So two sevenths is equivalent to four 14ths. So we renamed with that common denominator, least common denominator of 14. So let's do it to the half here. We know that two times seven is 14, so do the same exact thing to the top to keep it equivalent. One times seven is seven, and this is addition. So now, once we have that common denominator and we renamed, we're able to add or subtract. So let's add our fractions first. Four plus seven is 11, and this is 14 and then we add our whole numbers. So five plus three is eight. So once you get to that point, check to see if you can simplify the fractional part. So do we have any common factors between the 11 and 14? Well, the only common factor is one, so this is in simplest form. Our final answer is eight and 11 fourteenths. Let's move to number two where we have subtraction. And subtraction is the same exact thing that we just did, but instead of adding, we're going to subtract. So let's line up vertically up and down. So seven and 11 twelfths minus two and three fourths. So do we have a common denominator between our two fractions? Are we able to subtract right away? No, so we need to find a common denominator. And the least common denominator between a 12 and a 4 is going to be 12. So let's rename. So we have 7 and how many twelfths? And 2 and how many twelfths? Well, 7 and 11 twelfths already has a denominator of 12, so we don't need to rename. So let's transfer our 11 over. Now we do need to rename the 3 fourths. So we know 4 times three is 12, do the same thing to the top to get an equivalent fraction here. So three times three is nine. So three fourths is equivalent to nine twelfths. And both fractions have a common denominator now, so we are able to subtract. So to recap, we didn't have a common denominator, so we were not able to subtract. So we found one, we renamed, and now we're ready to subtract. So 11 minus nine gives us two, and we have twelfths. Now do the whole numbers. So seven minus two is five, and we get to five and two twelfths. Now, before we finish, we always look to see if we can simplify the fractional part. And we can because we have a common factor other than one between our numerator two and our denominator 12, a common factor of two between both of those. So let's divide both by two to uh, simplify here. And we get five and one sixth. And one sixth 
is in simplest form. The only common factor between one and six is one, so we are done. The final answer to number two is five and one sixth. So there you have it. There's how you add and subtract mixed numbers. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.